You know, the deal market was down uh, somewhat significantly in the third quarter, uh, largely a lot of market observers saying tied to continuing trade disputes between the U.S. and China. Uh, but I will tell you that based uh, on anecdotal evidence on the amount of activity we're seeing from our clients and other people we're talking to uh, across the major theaters we operate in, Asia, Europe, and particularly North America, uh, we're expecting deal activity at least for the first two quarters of 2019 to uh, continue at least a pace, if not uh, increase somewhat significantly. Uh, obviously, there are a lot of potential headwinds out there that are swirling around trade issues, regulatory uncertainty, the possibility of a no-deal Brexit, volatility in the capital markets, potential for increasing hikes in interest rates. Uh, but notwithstanding that, with private equity sitting on almost $1.2 trillion of dry powder and uh, huge amounts of cash on the balance sheets of strategic acquirers, uh, we expect the pace of activity to continue and possibly increase. That, that is an important story you're saying, Mark, because and you and I have known each other for a decade, and, and what we've seen is the private capital markets continue to get bigger. Is there any sign of that slowing down? And the reason I ask is, to your point, is that you're not investing in private equity because you want the money to sit there. You're investing in private equity because you want the money to be put to work. That's got to go somewhere, right? Yeah, no. Oh, look. Great point, Brian. And certainly with, you know, seller expectations on the sales side for valuations remaining high and multiples continuing to creep up uh, in, uh, in buyouts, uh, you know, putting that amount of capital to work that you're rightly saying that investors are allocating to private equity uh, remains a challenge. Uh, but, you know, we're seeing uh, more creativity come out of the private equity industry and it's coming out in a, in a number of different ways, uh, notwithstanding some of the headwinds that uh, you see out there in the world, uh, private equity managers are increasingly focused on uh, investing in a globalized environment, in part because you know, they, they note that they've got to seek out uh, faster growing environments and faster growing regions. Uh, than the traditional places. Will that, that, will that be in the equities. U.S., Mark, or will that primarily be in Europe, even with a Brexit, or in Asia, or all? You know, I, I think it, 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 it really depends. It's going to be sector by sector. So some sectors in different regions will be growing faster than others, right? Technologies continue to be a very fast-growing sector with, with continuing uh, returns. Um, but you're also seeing, you know, consumer-led uh, investing in places that you didn't traditionally see it across Asia and other parts of the of the of the world. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, Mark Turfelter. You know, one thing, one thing. Go one, ahead quickly. One Mark. thing that's interesting, yeah. One thing that's interesting, Brian, is a number of market participants are telling us from the private equity side that even in the event of a consumer-led recession, they're planning to put more work, uh, more capital to work investing in the hope of trying to take advantage of uh, of uh, better valuations.